Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television, brought to you by Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Now, of course, today the AR platform is the most popular rifle in America, and there are a lot of accessories that you can put on your AR to make it more capable. This week, we looked at things like white light and night vision, and a piece of advice, don't throw smoke grenades at my cameraman. This week's Rifleman Review is a small Kimber called the Micro 9, not much bigger than a 380, but it has 9mm Luger power. This week in a high of this old gun, we'll look at one of the most successful submachine gun designs of World War II, and of course, that's the Russian PPS-43. But right now, let's have a look at carbine accessories. The AR carbine is ubiquitous today. Truly, this is America's rifle. People use them for hunting, they use them for personal protection, and of course, they use them in tactical competition. Now, the rifle itself is pretty capable with iron sights, but what accessories do you need? And that's what we're here to determine at the Peacemaker National Training Center in West Virginia. Really, one of the nicest facilities of its kind in the entire nation. And we're gonna try suppressors, optical sights, and of course, it's dark half the time, so we're gonna look at white light and of course, night vision. So today we are exploring some new technologies and, and learning about light and, uh, and how we can deal with different lighting situations. Uh, I just shot a stage where there was various targets hidden among the woods and uh, this is kind of the baseline during the day. We're going to shoot it with different types of optics and different types of sights, uh, irons, red dots and also variable power scopes. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing at night and see uh, what challenges we face and what solutions we can come up with to deal with those challenges. commonly referred to this as like a, a jungle run, you know, and it's nice because targets are blending in the scenery, they're just not standing out in the open, and um, I think this is helpful for more realistic type training. I find that the optic helps if I dial it down to like one and a half or two to give me uh, more contrast, and on the longer range target, definitely it, magnification helps. The engagements that I've taken with this system right here at, at multiple distances has varied anywhere from five yards to 900 yards. And that's what makes this platform so, so ideal in my mind. We can do CQB and turn around and do some long shots across open vast areas. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.